So, all right, this is a piece there I was talking about. I'll flip it over. That this piece is this piece. So that's how it goes up inside there is what I'm saying, and this that normally would cover it. Get her to go forward. I'll make a little bit of a gap in there, but I'll come back and fix that. See if that works. If not, I can bust forward a little bit. I'll bring you back. All right, guys. So I'm back to this fighting this panel again. So I took the. Uh, Outer rocker, or I don't know, but last video I kept calling that a rocker. The outer wheelhouse um, off, and everything fits pretty nice. You can see here this is this is lining up. Come on. Anyway, uh, that's looking pretty good. Same as before. Uh, this is looking good. I went ahead and split this a little bit to get it to fit up in there pretty good. You can see this body line is really, really nice. I literally wouldn't have to do any work at all except for maybe right there on the edge, which I think I'll probably end up having to replace this panel because it had some rust in the upper corner anyway. But regardless, yeah, that fits really, really nice. This, perfect. So, you know, all this is, is snug down. Actually, I could cut this out a little bit, and uh, but that's not gonna make that big of a difference. So everything's fitting really nice so I'm back to the same problem that I had before uh, and it's even a little bit more magnified with that on so let me uh, where's my chair there it is kind of tweak my back again so I do that every six months or so I'll freaking pick up something or bend wrong and I'll get a little pain shooting through my back but anyway been doing that for years so you can see here this is inside above the rocker and you can push that down and actually make it touch and if this panel here were actually to be able to, to be up a little higher and push in that would be exactly where it needed to be here's the, there's the problem we talked about this before when I push that up you see how it lifts up on that and I had one guy say, well, maybe when you put the wheel arch in, it'll kick that out. And so I thought, yeah, that's a, that's a good point. So I, I put the wheel arch in. It didn't affect it at all. Um, so when you push in on this and get it actually where it needs to be in here, it, uh, it makes a huge gap. That's probably an inch gap down there. Okay. So when you pull it back off, it comes back down where it's supposed to be. Okay. See what I'm talking about? This is, I could weld that if it would fit up in here. So I'm back to the same dilemma that I need to split this and move that up just a little bit, weld that back together because it's just not, it's just not gonna jive like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this wheelhouse back in and, and mock it back up one more time. Uh, this, this thing is a pain in the butt to put on with that wheelhouse. Uh, and the wheelhouse looks like it's in the right place and, and is where it's supposed to be. I'll show you that when I bring you back here in a second. Alright, let's see. So the wheelhouse fits really nicely. Uh, it fits right in there like it's supposed to. It kind of slides into place and literally it's that easy. This hole here, let's see if you can see what I'm looking at there. This hole here, um, a lot of cars I've seen it don't line up very good, but. If you work this one a little, just a little bit, let me set you down here. 
and I can actually get it a little better than that. So it's actually lined up pretty, pretty nicely. Clamp that up. Clamp that up. And that's basically in. A uh, little bit of gap there, but you can pull that together. So that's no big deal. Looks like it fits pretty good. It's a little bit high maybe. Uh, and I could come down with it a little bit. But I'm afraid that would make things fit maybe even worse. But the rest of this looks, looks pretty good. This here is nice and flush, except for where this panel actually needs to move in. We talked about that. This fits really pretty nicely. Uh, might be able to move in just a tad. But so, yeah. And the, the fender, or the quarter panel fits. It's just back to this again. So, tell me what you guys think. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to fit this back up one more time and show you what I'm talking about. All right, last look. I'm going to shut her down for today. So, this line here is really nice with this line here. I mean, for the moment, as nice as that line can be. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Uh, so anyway, yeah, fitting good, fitting good. Uh, gap fitting good. My, my inner panel is back in. This is all fitting really, really nice. Uh, nice and tight through here. Uh, of course, this gap here is because it is not going in. All good back here. Squeezes up like it's supposed to. Fits really nice. Channel here, nice. Rest of this, nice. All this, nice. Okay, so you're getting the idea. Everything's nice. Nice. That is really nice. I mean, it's sitting on there perfect. Okay, you can see here this gap here, but we know now that they did some goofy crap to this. And like I said, while I could pull that in, this actually needs to come out, which sucks because I actually welded my braces to this piece. So I'm going to have to figure out another, I may have to weld maybe right in here or something like that, bust that one loose to let this, well, no, because i got to move this whole piece out. I'm just thinking out loud again. Anyway, I'll have to figure out something. Um, but yeah, so perfect. Loving it, loving it, loving it. The only, only, only problem that I'm having is this. Okay, same, same situation. So I can push that up in there, but I want you to watch what happens as soon as I do it. I'm gonna set you down for a second. Pop this up in there. All right, now that fits real nice. Okay, it's actually staying by itself. I'm showing that right. Yeah, so nice. Nice, everything's good, just beautiful, okay? But as it goes down here, you can see it's lifted it up quite a bit. <clears throat> Let me see something here. Maybe it would make that work. It would still work better, I think, if this, and I bent that up like I said. I'd only need to take a little bit out of there to get that to sit in there flush, because watch when I pull this back out, watch what happens here. All right, now it sits down real nice like it's supposed to. So it's just kicking it up. I just need to work. From what I can see here, I just need to work this area to get that to squeeze in like it's supposed to. So I'll continue to work on that, probably not today, uh, because my nurse left and so I'm, uh, I'm taking care of the little girl. And uh, while it is a beautiful day, I think I've had enough of this thing. I've had this panel on and off and on and off and on and off. It's just absolutely me kicking my tail. So. But we're getting closer. So I want it to where I can just 
fit this thing really, really good. Just, you know, pop it right on there. It's going to fit the same. It'll, you know, just sit and repeat and repeat, hopefully. So, yeah, that's it. What else I was going to say? If I think anything else, I'll get back with you. But if not, I uh, hope you guys have a good evening. It is uh, looking like 80 degrees, but it's probably more like 75 in here with the doors open. So, really loving it. Um, I had a 17, 18 year old girl ask to buy that the other day, literally. She's like, if you ever want to sell that, I would sure love a shot at it. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> I can't even imagine a kid would like that vehicle other than the fact that it, you know, you can go topless on it. Uh, well, you can take the top off. I guess she could go topless. I don't know. That's up to her parents, I guess. But so... Yeah, I've had people. I had a, I had someone follow me home the other day. I, I literally got my gun out because I thought, what the hell is it going? You know, he got out with his kid and he comes up and he goes, "Hey, you wouldn't want to sell that, would you?" I'm like, "You want to buy this old ugly yellow ass rusted out thing?" And uh, he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm always looking for a project." I was like, "No, I don't want to sell it. I I, I I am I absolutely love driving that thing. I mean, I absolutely love it." And I get thumbs up and all kinds, as ugly and rusted out and everything else as it is, I still get tons of thumbs up, people looking at it. It's, it's crazy. But I guess, you know, again, like I said, they're rare. I hate the old white bumper. I'd put chrome, I'm, well, I will put chrome bumpers back on them or back on it. I need to get the front and, I'm, well, hell, I need to get, you think this car, some of these guys are complaining about this car being bad. It ain't, it's not even close to that thing. That thing is horrible. I mean, the whole floors are rusted out, the rockers are rusted out, the quarter back quarter panels are rusted out, the channels up around the windows are completely rusted out, the whole top up there, the top of the channel has to be completely replaced. There's not really, a, there, there's, well the hood is even kind of bent in so I have to get a new hood. So literally the front fenders are the only panels on that truck that will be left when I'm done with it. That's how bad that thing is. But it's fun to drive, so. I just keep driving it. All right. See you guys.